Hello, my name is Mr. Taylor and I am a natural science educator here at Roper Mountain Science Center. We are in the ecology lab and where we talk about ecosystems and what we're going to be talking about today are those animals, those consumers that have to consume food to get their energy to survive. And these animals have roles that they play in an ecosystem depending upon what they eat. And did you know that you can tell by looking at a skull and by looking at teeth, what an animal eats, how it gets its energy, what the role of that animal is. Now, looking closely at the teeth of this animal, it has no canine teeth. There's a gap, it's missing, no sharp canine teeth but it does have large incisors up front for helping to collect or cut or gnaw on plant material. And it also has molars that are flat across the top to enable it to grind away at tough plant material. And its jaws are able to move sideways to also help it grind away plant material. So, since it has long incisors, no canine teeth, molars that are flat, this is an herbivore or herbivore. And again, the best way you can tell is by its teeth. Do you wanna guess what type of plant eater this is? This is of a large rodent, a beaver, uh, with those teeth that gnaw on plant material. So keep that in mind as we look at another animal skull. This skull belongs to that of a carnivore. It has sharp canine teeth for ripping or tearing or cutting away at the meat. If you look at the molars, they are kind of sharp, also for tearing and cutting and ripping apart the meat. The incisors are not large or long like that of an herbivore. So this is what the teeth look like of an animal that is a carnivore that eats other animals to survive. Let me show you another skull. This skull is of an omnivore. Uh, omnivores, since they eat both plant and animal material, they do have canine teeth like carnivores, but their molars are not quite as sharp. They're a little bit more hilly uh, and rounded than that of a carnivores, which would be a little bit more sharp. Now this is of a omnivore, which actually this animal eats mostly meat and the size is a good clue also, can you guess? This is from a black bear. And I don't know if I gave you a chance to guess what type of skull this is from the teeth of this carnivore. This is from a dog, and we have a wild dog example behind us of a coyote or coyote. So you can tell a lot about the teeth, what that role of that animal is, whether it's a herbivore or carnivore or omnivore, uh, what it eats. Now to end with, just with those little tips, this is mystery skull number one. Can you tell whether this is a herbivore or a carnivore by looking at the teeth? If you said it was an herbivore, you were correct. And this skull belongs to this animal, a muskrat. And muskrats live in aquatic ecosystems, in rivers and lakes and ponds, uh, 
in freshwater aquatic ecosystems around here. Mystery skull number two. Can you tell by looking at the teeth whether this is a carnivore or an herbivore? If you said it was a carnivore by the teeth, you were correct. And this carnivore belongs to this animal, an otter. Even the size of the cranium uh, helps. And otters are also found in freshwater aquatic ecosystems from the mountains to the coast in our state. So the next time you have a chance to visit the Science Center, when we're open to the public, uh, uh, come visit our ecology lab where we have animals from our state on display, these mounts, some skulls even on display, and take a look at our ecosystems that we have on display from the mountains to the sea here in South Carolina.